showed you how we could migrate applications from one AWS cluster to another uh, using Valero's built-in support for uh, cloud provider snapshots, in this case, EBS snapshots. So let's move on to the second example where I'd actually like to migrate this application out of AWS and into a cluster running on GKE, on Google's Kubernetes engine. Now, we can't use EBS snapshots to do this migration because Google's cloud doesn't understand anything about EBS snapshots. And so Valero has a generic mechanism for backing up volume contents called Restic. Uh, Restic is an open source tool for doing file level backups. And so what I'd actually like to do now is take a backup from cluster two using Restic to back up the contents of those volumes. So I'm gonna clear my screen here. So the first thing I need to do is to tell Valero to use Restic to back up the volumes. And the way that this is done is by annotating the pods that have those volumes that you wanna back up. And I have these commands saved in my buffer because uh, they are a little bit long. So first I'll annotate the WordPress uh, MySQL pod. And then I'll annotate the WordPress pod. And this is telling Valero that next time it runs, it should use Restic to back up these volumes rather than taking EBS snapshots. So what I'll do now is I'll say Valero backup create. I'll call this backup wp-restic. And I'd like to, again, include the default namespace. And I'll use that dash dash wave flag. So Valero, again, is, is getting all of those API resources that exist. But rather than taking EBS snapshots of the persistent volumes it finds, it'll be using Restic to back up the contents of those volumes. So we'll give this a few more seconds, and it should complete. Great. So now if I run the Valero backup describe command for WP Restic, and I pass details, what we see at the bottom is rather than having information about EBS snapshots, we have a section about Restic backups. And we see those two volumes that we ask to be backed up uh, are included there. So that's great. I'm going to stop my port forwarding command here. And I'm going to go ahead and delete, uh, again, the deployment, the service, and the persistent volume claims uh, from this cluster. And I'll switch back to the browser. and show that uh, we no longer have a connection there. All right, so that deletion is complete. So now I'll switch over to my third terminal window here. And you can see that this is a cluster uh, that's running in GKE, so an entirely different provider. Now, if I look at the backup locations that are configured here, Again, we see two backup locations. And the first one is called AWS, and it's pointed to that Valero Backups 2 bucket, which is where all backups that were created in Cluster 2 were going. And so because that's configured, I should be able to see the backup that I just created if I run Valero Backup Get. So we see WP Restic. So what I'd like to do now is just do a restore from that backup. So again, we'll say Valero Restore Create from backup WP Restic, and we'll, we'll wait for this to complete as well. And so now the Valero instance that's running in cluster three here, uh, running in GKE, is going out to the S3 bucket, pulling that backup down. And it's additionally pulling down the Restic backups of the volumes uh, that we backed up from cluster two. And because the Restic backup is uh, in a generic uh, cloud provider agnostic format, that data can be restored into new persistent volumes in GKE. So this should take a few more seconds to complete. Great, so the restore is completed now. And so I'll just take a quick look and see if our deployments have appeared. We have both of our deployments. And if we look for persistent volume claims, we'll see those as well. And finally, I'll look and see if our pods are up and running. So we have two running pods now in our GKE cluster. So I'll set up the port forwarding command one more time from this cluster. Great. And so now if I switch back to my browser and refresh this page, Steve's awesome blog comes back up.
So this is now being served from GKE. And if I scroll down, we'll see my blog post, Hello World, that was written, Hello from Cluster One, uh, that's up and running now in GKE. And just now I showed you how you could migrate an application running in a cluster on AWS into a cluster running on GKE using Valero's RESTIC integration. So that concludes the demo, and thanks a lot.